Hi friends, this is uh, Pastor Will at Haygood United Methodist Church. I just wanted to take a moment to, to give you an encouraging word. I know these are kind of difficult times, so I wanted to provide for you a scripture here from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. And this is a, a chance for us to learn about what was most important to Jesus. This is chapter 10 when a lawyer comes to Jesus one day and, and asks him what's the most important part of the law. And Jesus says to them, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But then the lawyer wants to ask a, a deeper question, then who is my neighbor? And that's what Jesus launches into is a discussion about who our neighbor is. And he tells this great parable. We often call it the parable of the Good Samaritan. And I, I, I want to go through this to walk with you through this. The different characters are very interesting to me. There was a man who was a, a, on the side of the road. He was in the ditch and he was hurt. And the first person that walks by is actually a priest, uh, someone like me, a minister, which is always a little bit of a, a threat to us ministers, this scripture is, because he walks by and he was just busy. I'm not sure what he was doing, but he couldn't take time to stop for this man on the side of the road. Uh, I'm sure he had important things to do. I'm sure, he, I'm sure it was some sort of meeting on nonviolence and pastors needed to be there. Whatever it may be, he didn't have time to stop. And then you have this, uh, leader called the Levite, who was in charge of worship. And I'm sure there was a, a worship convention that was going on and he just saw the man, he's thinking, I just don't have time to do this. And then there was this other man named the Samaritan man. Uh, he's a Samaritan who was not liked by the Jews at this point because there was all sorts of tensions between them, but, but he chose to stop. He chose to stop and take care of this man on the side of the road. And I've often asked myself this question, why was it? What made him stop? And the interesting thing is I look back, back at these three characters. The first two, it says they walked by from afar. But it says about this Samaritan man that he went near, and then it was then, at that moment, that he was moved with compassion, moved in his heart by going near the hurt. Going near the hurt. And it was then that he decided to take some oil and, and anoint it and put it on the man's uh, bleeding side of his body and to try to help him recover. And he took him to an inn so that he could buy some stability and some health, uh, health care at that point. And so it reminds me that as we think about uh, all the people who are suffering, one of the best things that we can do is just find a way to go near people who are hurting and suffering. And I know that right now there's a lot of people that are hurting and suffering and we can't go near them. We can't go near them for safety reasons, uh, because of health situations. But what I wanna encourage you to do is you think about loving your neighbor. We can't really fathom some of the hurt that people are experiencing right now. People who are maybe losing jobs or, or maybe they're having a situation where they're going through uh, COVID-19 right now themselves and dealing with all the different uh, health professionals as they try to seek help and medication for it. But what we can do is just simply to pray for them. Remember that they are not just statistics right now, but they are people who are in, in desperate need of our care and prayers. So remember them in a special way. Pray for our health care professionals. Uh, pray for those who are suffering. And remember that Jesus taught us to love our neighbors. And one of the ways we do that is by moving towards the hurt. And pray for those who are suffering during this season. And may it be an encouraging word for you and for those who are in need.